If you haven't traveled to North Louisiana lately, well, you haven't heard all the hype. It could be this century's gold rush, and since its discovery in DeSoto Parish, several companies are making a mad dash to get their hands on the Haynesville Shale in tonight's special report. It's riches. I mean, you know, people just uh, have been, you know, hard working all their lives, and all of a sudden they've got a couple million dollars. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. So what's the fuss all about? It's Haynesville Shale, the largest natural gas deposit in the United States, named after a rock formation in the town of Haynesville. The Haynesville Shale areas include the parishes of DeSoto, Caddo, Bossier, Webster, Bienville, Red River, Sabine, and Natchitoches Parish, and even parts of Texas. In Mansfield, the shale business is booming, and landowners are raking in the money. My, my brother-in-law, he had 300 acres, and this was back before it really started going good. He got he got 3,000 an acre, so he got a check for a little over a million dollars. <laughs> Went and bought a Cadillac. The DeSoto Parish Clerk of Court, Sonny Stone, says every day this records office is packed with landmen or oil men researching property mineral rights, looking for the next piece of land that has become like gold. Since oil companies got wind of the discovery, properties all over have been scooped up. Before residents knew what was underneath the land, the bonus money was low, but as the word spread, prices shot up. At least bonus money, upfront money, went from I don't know when it first started, about $500 an acre, all the way up to $25,000 an acre. But with all the good can come greed. There are stories of oil men coming in and stealing mineral rights from under many all too trusting residents. Now local lawyers are specializing in mineral rights. Landowners are organizing to educate themselves of their rights. And State Attorney General Buddy Caldwell has been speaking out about property ripoffs. I, I was fortunate. I was able to lease a little bit of land I had. Uh, I was kind of on the low end. I, I was able to get $1,000 an acre, and at the time I thought that was a big deal. So I got a check for $27,000. But, you know, the aggravating part is the people that leased it came in and what I understand is they turned around and subleased it for 30000 which made took me out of about $800,000. But with many cashing in, the area is not reaping the benefits just yet. Right now, the money that people are seeing is just to strictly lease the property so oil companies can drill on it, and it won't be another year and a half until they start seeing royalties of 20 to 30%. Which means the process is still in its early stages. More rigs have to be in place and then the drilling and excavations before more money rolls in. Until then, some residents are holding out, waiting to see how high the demand for their property can get. As for Sheriff Arbuckle, he has this advice for anyone looking to make a deal. But there is some older folks and maybe some people that don't have the money. And, and, and I did hate to see that happen where, you know, maybe some people were taken advantage of because they knew what this was. And, and you know, I guess that's basically why, you know, sometimes they really, uh, if they don't understand, should get an attorney. And some interesting notes, Dale. The DeSoto police jury has gotten a check, gotten a check for $28.7 million in the land sale. And the sheriff tells me right now there is a man in jail serving time. And when he gets out, he'll be $1.7 million richer. And those are just some of the stories we are hearing about. No telling how many instant millionaires are out there keeping the good news to themselves. Dale. Well, let's hope he doesn't stay in a hooskow too long. $1.7 million be something nice to look forward to. All righty. Thank you, Diana.